It allows me to eat all the cake I want to eat. You could eat whatever you want if you ran like Ken Ekman. I do eight hour runs to train for the long ones. So I'll go out and run for eight hours. You know, if I need to walk a little bit, I will. And that's just a warm up. You know, you just do it a mile at a time and a step at a time. And, and it's amazing what your body's capable of doing. Ken's next big race is a 48 hour run, but his main challenge will be allowing himself to rest. Well, the main thing is going to be sleeping. Being almost 63 years old, you know, the body might not want to re-engage quite as quickly, but we'll see. Extreme conditions make these ultra marathons seem dangerous to your health, but that might not be the case, according to Dr. Clarissa Smith. In general, most evidence behind ultra marathons are that they are not detrimental to your health as long as they, you know, avoid the problems that occur during the actual marathon. It's really all about how you train. It's just back-to-back -back days, just to get my body used to um, the pounding and being on my feet. To prevent injury, many athletes who stretches like these to stretch out their legs. But not Ken. When he hits the track, he just runs and goes. And some professionals say this might be harmful. Stretching is a must before any kind of sports activity um, because it will help prevent kind of injuries from strains, sprains and pulls and stuff like that. He might not stretch, but he seems to be holding up just fine. It's pretty surprising what I've been able to do and that my body is held together and a lot of people my age are done with running and their bodies are beat up <laughs> and they're not coming back. For 330 News, I'm Brooke Wazowitz reporting.